Hi, welcome to Hack Number 39. Uh, this week it's a project in the celebration of New Year's. You know, every year in Times Square, Times Square, got my Times Square shuttle shirt on, they have the ball drop. It counts down one minute with the light coming down, the ball that's lit comes down in Times Square, and as it gets closer to the ground, it gets closer to New Year's, and when it gets down to the ground, it lights up all bright and everything, and everyone cheers and goes crazy. Well, we're going to make a miniature version of that today with uh, an Arduino, LEDs, some ping pong balls, and then you can decide what you want to mount it to. Oh, and when it gets to the bottom, it plays this song, so you'll learn how to make music on the Arduino, too. Happy New Year, Albert. As always, I've got Albert here, Mr. Einstein, overseeing operations. Here's the Arduino with the uh, LEDs connected on a breadboard. That's a pretty simple setup. With these LEDs, I didn't put a resistor uh, that was too large in there. It's a 470 on each one of them. And depending on what LEDs you use, you'll have to kind of figure out what resistor you need to use. Uh, you can look up the data sheets and whatnot and do some simple calculations, figure that out. There's plenty of information out there for that. Not going to go into that. LEDs on the Arduino are pretty, uh, pretty commonplace and pretty old hat to most people. But the fun thing I did with this is the uh, the music portion of it. So we'll learn about doing some music on the Arduino and uh, also ping pong balls and cutting holes in them to mount the LEDs. And This is going to be fun. Here's the code for the mini ball drop on the Arduino. We have to start out by uh, putting our integers in for the LED pins. Uh, it's LED 1 on pin 1, 2 on 2, etc., all the way down 1 through 5. Then we get into the setup where we set the pin mode for those pins. LED 1 is output, as are all the other 5. They're all outputs. Then we get into the loop section, and we start out by lighting up those LEDs. The first one, LED 1, digital write command, sends it high. 5 volts comes out of that pin and lights up that LED for 14,950 milliseconds. And then we do a digital write, LED 1, pin low. That turns the LED off. Then there's a delay for 50 milliseconds. Now that 14,950 and 50 added together, that's 15,000 milliseconds, or 15 seconds. Each one of those LEDs then counts down through 15 seconds of on time for each one until it gets to the very last one, LED 5. And that one is a little special because it's the last one, so it stays on for a total of 60,000 milliseconds, which is a minute. And that's all the way at the bottom of the page here because in between is all of the music. The music is done with the tone command, and it's uh, you, you type tone, uh, parentheses, and then 8. That's the pin that the speaker is connected to. You don't have to define it in the integers. You just do it here in the tone command. 440, that's the uh, frequency in hertz. In this case, that would be the note A, and a delay of 200 milliseconds. And the way I've set this up, 200 milliseconds equals an eighth note. The quarter notes are 400 milliseconds. Then there's some quarter and eighth notes combined, and that's 600 milliseconds. So now I'll take you over here now to some sheet music and show you how I figured out how to quantify the notes. A one, two, three, should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind. There's the first line in Auld Lang Syne, New Year's song that everybody knows. How did I put this on the Arduino? Well. I chose the key of C, then I had to look up what frequency that note was. The first note is C, and it turns out to be 262 hertz. I found that out from a sheet that I printed out from a website online that has the Arduino Tone Library. That's another way to do sound. I chose the hard way, I guess, but there it is, C for 262 hertz. So that's how we assign the hertz to all the notes. What about that delay time, and what does all that mean? Well, this is a quarter note. This is 4-4 four, four time, 4 beats per measure, a quarter note for each note. I assigned 400 milliseconds to each quarter note. That's a grand total of 1600 milliseconds per measure. If I want to find out my beats per minute, I just take the 400 divided into 60,000 milliseconds, that's one minute, 
and it comes out to 150 beats per minute. So we need to keep the math all happening nice and smooth through here. So there's a quarter note, that's 400 milliseconds. This is a quarter note plus a little dot next to it, which makes it a quarter note plus an eighth. An eighth note would be 200 milliseconds. So with this, we have to add the 400 plus the 200. So the delay on that note would be 600 milliseconds. Next is an eighth note, that would be 200 milliseconds, and so on. There's a funny little thing you run into when there's two notes next to each other and you're playing the music on the Arduino. Instead of going, uh, never brought to, there's no break, it just goes never, you know, so, it just, uh, <laughs> you need to have a break in there. So this is 200 milliseconds. This one is in uh, a quarter plus an eighth. That's 600 milliseconds. We want to put a little break in there. The way to do that is with the command no tone. And that's uh, lowercase n, lowercase o, uppercase t, lowercase o-n-e. And then pin eight, the same kind of routine as you saw before in there. So I put 20 seconds, 20 milliseconds in between these two notes. But then I had to minus 20 milliseconds from the value here. The delay so instead of this being a 200 delay it became 180 delay then we have a delay of 20 milliseconds no tone and then on to the next note I know that's all pretty crazy complicated but if you uh, go back and listen to that a couple times I know you'll get it oh and phrases real quickly that's a phrase right there it's the same thing repeated here as here should old acquaintance be forgot? And then here, for all lang syne, my dear, same phrase. So we can just copy paste that code once we write it to here. So I called this phrase A. Here's another phrase that repeats phrase B. So look for phrases when you're doing music and you can copy paste those phrases. And before you know it, you'll be making 8-bit music. Let's build this sucker. Ping pong balls. Preparation of the ping pong ball for an LED like this, we need to poke a hole in it. So I'm going to take my number 11 X-Acto blade and very carefully get a hole going in there and very gently start cutting a little hole. I'll do it right here on the side with the letters so that they don't show on the final project. I know, I'm cutting toward myself, but I'm being very careful. Be really careful with exactos because they can slice you pretty nasty. Don't push too hard, then if you do slip, you're not going to hurt yourself. That should be a big enough hole. We just cram it in there. Put a little hot glue on there and we'll be good to go. All right, let's do some more. I decided to throw together a quickie uh, 555 A stable uh, circuit as a final timer to flash uh, some lights on the, the final ball thing at the bottom. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all that yet. I'm going to maybe spell out 2012 or something. But anyway, time to put together a quickie A-stable 555 timer. I know these things by heart now. This is looking pretty cool. Well, how's that for uh, futuristic? We're going to mount the, uh, the lights on this um, like it's a skyscraper. This is part of a Roomba robot. This is the cover in the back that you would lift off and dump all the dirt out of. It's kind of like the dirt chamber. And in there, I'm going to mount these LEDs. This came out of some flashlight that went bad. Uh, batteries went bad. The array is still good, though. These are super bright, too, so it should work really well to backlight. This thing I printed out, I want to just use one of them. I might do a little drop shadow effect with the two of them, but I'm going to put that in here, diffuse the light, and then it'll shine 2012 there. And uh, all the, the ball drop will happen on this futuristic skyscraper. This, incidentally, came out of a Tektronix oscilloscope that was shipped to me by one of the viewers. They donated it very graciously, and then it arrived broken. I had to find another CRT, but it was still worth it. It's a great oscilloscope. I saved the electron gun out of it and always thought, you know, that just looks too cool to throw away. I have to do something with that. Just look at that. That's awesome. So we're going to do some fun stuff lighting that from the bottom up and uh, mount the uh, ping pong balls that I've put together. 
on there. Let's get going. Time to wire up all of the uh, LEDs on the skyscraper here. So here's a little tip. Old USB cables that you don't need anymore. This is from an old phone. Uh, they have multiple leads, right? There's four leads in there, uh, plus a ground usually. So those are pretty handy to um, strip wire out of if you need different color wire. So you just snip each other, each end off and pull off some of that outer insulation as you need it. And there you go, you've got salvageable wire. Reuse stuff. Okay, let's see. A little hot glue, some flat duck bills, squeeze gently, let it cool for a minute, you get a nice molded cable. It's finished, I'm ready to launch, all done, looks pretty cool that old uh, electron gun. There's the 555 A staple circuit. I've got it uh, kind of piggybacked onto the Arduino. The Arduino is just stuck on the back. I got a 9 volt battery there. I switched to turn the whole thing on. And it's pretty crazy looking. Let's turn the lights down and put it into action. Here we go. It's one minute before midnight. We hit the switch and it starts to count down. It'll take a whole minute to do this. So we can pretend we're all in Times Square and everyone's going crazy. There's hustle, there's bustle, there's only 60 seconds left. Oh, there's 45 seconds left now. The autofocus doesn't like this too much. And pretty soon it'll get down to 30 seconds left. And we got a green light. Isn't this exciting? I know, it's not that exciting. It's just a silly little Arduino thingy. But we're getting pretty close now. We're almost at the minute mark. Coming up on it pretty soon. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woohoo! Happy 2012! And it plays Auld Lang Syne. Well, there it is, the mini ball drop. You can build one of these and configure it however you wish. Set it up in your window of your house. Go crazy with it. The basic code is there for the Arduino. So get creative and uh, share stuff with me that you do. It's been a lot of fun doing these hacks. Number 39 here. 13 more to go. Hope everyone has a happy new year, full of all kinds of hacking.